I'm Dylan Black. Uh, it's coming to town. We're talking about Etsy Made in Canada Ottawa for two days with a special uh, pre-show the night before as well. Uh, let's talk to Emily Arbor, organizer of Etsy Made in Canada Ottawa. How are you, Emily? I'm doing really well. How are you? Good to see you on the show. I'm great. Good. I'm happy to start off the show with some amazing uh, products here from some local vendors. Yeah. And Alicia Buhovic is with us as well. Hi. Alicia Confections. Yeah, hi. How are you? <laughs> good, you? Wonderful to see you. I'm good. Uh, let's talk about Etsy. Uh, Emily, what exactly is Etsy? So Etsy is a global marketplace, an online marketplace for handmakers, vintage sellers, and uh, craft supply sellers. Okay. Yeah, so it, it's uh, it's based online, and Etsy Made in Canada is this is our fourth annual. It's a way where you can um, shop those typically only online sellers in person. Okay. Yeah. How long? So Etsy then has been a, around for four years as well, or just no? This event? Etsy, uh, I believe, is celebrating their tenth birthday next year, and uh, so it's been around for a long time. Um, but we've just sort of been doing this Etsy local, Etsy Made in Canada thing in city centers across Canada for the last four years, and okay. every year. There, we add more cities to that. Okay. What yeah. uh, made you decide to be, become part of this? Um, well, I have a little shop actually in Elmont, um, and I carry only handmade goods. And Etsy was a place where I was finding vendors in the in the area um, mm -hmm. that that make great stuff and selling them in my store. And it just sort of, uh, I had known about Etsy before, but it just sort of got me in with them. And one day they did a blog post about my shop, and mm -hmm. we got talking. And then I became the Etsy team captain for Ottawa. Just like that, with just one. One simple blog no problem. Post. Yeah. What's the name of your uh, business then? My shop Walmart? is called Cheerfully Made Goods and Markets. Cheerfully Made Goods and Markets. And yeah. where exactly are you found? I am at 72 Mill Street in Elmont. That's good. I had to yeah. give you a bit of a Thank plug. Thank you. There. It's <laughs> very important. I hope I don't get in trouble. And now, Alicia, you're not going to get in trouble as well. <laughs> Alicia Confections, yeah. uh, tell us exactly what you make. Yeah, so I uh, make mainly chocolate bars. Uh, we're planning on branching uh, to a couple of other different products because we're planning on opening a retail location nice. in the next couple months. I can't say exactly what day yet because it's not solid, hmm. but um, we're opening in the Glebe, which is going to be awesome. That's exciting. Yeah. And I actually just moved to Ottawa about a year ago. One of my first shows in Ottawa was the Etsy Made in Canada show, so that's mm -hmm. where I met <laughs> Emily, and now we're friends. <laughs> so clearly this is an important spot. Yeah, definitely. Meet some friends, you network. It's an awesome show. What made you decide to um, focus on chocolate? Uh, I used to uh, work and manage at a chocolate shop in Winnipeg, yeah. and uh, after a couple years, I figured why not do something different and weird because I, I saw a market for something that people weren't making. So all of my chocolate bars are, are weird and interesting flavors. Weird and interesting <laughs> chocolate bars. And we do yeah. have obviously some of your product in front of yeah. us. Uh, so right away, I mean, I'm seeing potato chips and chocolate <laughs> bars. Uh, yeah. One's called Gone Fishing. Do you want to quickly go yeah, over Yeah. So one of my most popular chocolate bars is the Nicholas Bar, which is named after my fiance. Nice. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's a salted uh, potato chip milk chocolate bar. So it's one of my all-time best-selling bars. It's salty sweet. People are kind of weirded out to try it sometimes. Why would they be weirded out, though? <laughs> the chips. Yeah. It's, but it's so good. When I was a kid, I used to always make weird combinations with food because I really wasn't a big fan of chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why my bars are so successful is because I think of things that maybe other people wouldn't think of because okay. I, I think, like Would you weird. like to try a little bite <laughs> maybe? Yeah, what is it, yeah. Am I drooling? Is that yeah. why? You okay. have to. I, have to. <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm fine with this. Sorry to cut you off. It's just because I, I mean, I eat potato chips and then in the next sitting I'll eat chocolate. Exactly. So I don't see a problem with this at all. <laughs> why not mush them together? <laughs> right there. Mm. I think Alicia's product is a great example of the type of stuff that you find at a show like Etsy Main Kenda or other craft shows because um, it's just a unique handmade take on something that exists but doesn't quite exist in this way. Mm -hmm. And so like a lot of our products, it's, it's just a great place to find unique products that you just won't find anywhere else. Okay. Totally. Yeah. So, so Emily, do you want to show us perhaps yeah, some of the stuff to. that's going to be on hand at this point? I would love to. So basically at the show you'll find everything from um, like men's clothing and women's mm. clothing, um, <laughs> jewelry, home decor items, edibles, just baby stuff, a little bit of everything. And I've tried to bring a little smattering of what, uh, we have 150 vendors in total. Wow. Um, so for instance, we've got black coffee apparel, which is a guy here in uh, Ottawa that mm. makes um, some men's and women's clothing and there's some coffee mugs. Uh, Low Poly Craft is one of my new favorite ones. They make um, little paper kits. Oh geez, we lost them. <laughs> 
Sorry, Charlotte. It um, Did you just call that Charlotte? Well, I, the maker's name is Charlotte. Okay. <laughs> but oh, we I could call you. her Charlotte, too. Okay. Um, they make these little paper kits um, f to do projects on your own at home. And this, for example, is this raven before you make it. Um, we've got, I'm just going to leave her down. She wants to Charlotte lie down. Charlotte keeps falling. Um, we've got Lavender Lane. We've got Campy Candles. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful jewelers like Femme Mechanique. Uh, strut Jewelry. Rare Specimens. Um, this is an interesting product. It's split tree cocktails. Um, you can make your own uh, cocktails at home nice. using their um, their tonics. Mm -hmm. And he actually was on Dragon's Den a couple years ago oh, and, and got a deal. Uh, really horrible bitters. Um, artwork like this from Man Made Art. Um, and the really another really cool thing is that the makers these days are men and women alike. It used to be sort of a really female dominated um, industry, if you can call it that. And now we're seeing a lot of like men coming into yeah. it and and showing their creative side. So and, yeah. I, and I love to see that. And can, yeah. can people still become part of this event, or is it too late right it's now? It's too late for that. Yeah. Um, but they can sure come. Of course. <laughs> and they can apply to a future show. I we do other shows that are not just Etsy. This is an Etsy show, so yeah. you do have to have an Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of information at Etsy.com for becoming a seller yourself if this is something that you want to uh, okay. get into. So, Alicia, yeah. we're looking at like a, a full table of all kinds of amazing chocolates. Oh, yeah. I have 28 different flavors now. 28. So lots to choose from. <laughs> Beautiful. AliziaConfections.com and uh, Cheerfully Made Markets. By the way, that's that's where we would look up your stuff. Cheerfullymade.com. Cheerfullymade.com with cheerful. Okay, now yeah. I get it. Yeah, uh, to find out more about <laughs> Emily's uh, business. And this, of course, so it, it's there's a, sp a special night the night before. Yeah, so Etsy Made in Canada takes place all across Canada on specifically this Saturday, the mm -hmm. 23rd. Our show because it's so big, and Ottawa has such a big market. It's Saturday, it's the 23rd and 24th from 10 to 4 at the Bell Sensex. And for those who do not want to fight the crowds, we do have. Uh, because it is a really well attended show. Um, we do have a night market the mm -hmm. Friday the 22nd from 6.30 to 9.30. You do mm -hmm. have to buy tickets in advance to that. We have lots of raffles and fun things to give away. And um, you can find that information on my website as well. Beautiful. Etsy Made in Canada, Ottawa happening this weekend. Bell Sensplex, thank you very much to thank both you. of you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much. Always fun. And I do believe uh, if they showed up, we have cats on the show next because the Ottawa uh, Cat Show is coming. And we have details and moments on Rogers TV.